Alright, welcome guys back to another session of Rider Kuzu Noah. Still on chapter 5, Day of Misfortune. I went back to the Fukuroku Inn a little bit. Um, but we should still be back at Naruto Detective Agency. That was the last save file, so everything's K. Man, I am so excited. Pokemon Black 2, White 2 comes out tomorrow. So you know what the fuck I'm going to be doing Sunday. I'm going to be playing that game. I'm going to pick the uh, female character because she's the one with you know, the least craziest hairstyle out of the two. The fuck? Okay, so we have that mottled skin. Now we have to go and talk to Victor because he's the one who knows about... The monsters and the demons and the uh, butt fucking and the uh, Apollyon. So, this beautiful bastard over here. Welcome to the Gomada. Wait, what the fuck is that thing? Show me that specimen you're holding, Gozanawa! My scientist's blood is tingling with excitement. Explain to me how you came into position, in possession of this. Don't leave out a single detail. Righto explain the circumstances of the investigation to Victor. Ah, Victor fixated on the mottled insect skin. This creature you claimed to be uh, unable to harm. Apollyon, was it? Considering the characteristics in light of the skin's properties, you have my word as a scientist that this skin came from Apollyon. I confirm a projection in the skin's cross-section that's similar to Blastema. Certain creatures convert the shape and properties of their healthy cells from enact body parts to replace other parts that have been damage, damaged. The process of converting cells into repaired damaged areas, this is called cellular differentiation. No, I don't think he's making any of this shit up either. This sounds like something straight up out of biology. The Apollyon skin has a non-standard healing function based on cellular differentiation. Assuming it's healing itself faster than you can damage it, it's easy to see why it's unaffected by your attacks despite your considerable skill. The Apollyon is theoretically invulnerable. <laughs> Sad to say, but my theory is airtight. It's unfortunate that you run up against the Apollyon. It may be a predicament even you can't solve. Hmm? No. It isn't. Ugh. Ah, stubborn in the face of evidence, do you reject my theory? An ironclad will like that seems worth betting on to me. I'll tell you what might work. What you need is a weapon that can nullify the Apollyon's natural healing abilities. I can hear there- I hear there may be a suitable material to construct so one somewhere in the capital. It's known- wait, what? It's known as the Shukon Kon Seki. I don't know the details, but apparently contains the power of the Star of Death. Holy brown. That This chapter has just been a front load of mythology and just death. Why don't you try asking your fellow summoners about it? Oh, fantastic. So the Shukun Sekai. Or Shukun Seki. I, I really can't pronounce that. <laughs> Too long of a word. Fellow summoners, so you know what that means. We're gonna have to go down on the soda joint. And perhaps we can meet a certain fellow. So we'll leave this area. And head there. Damn it. Now fucking corners have me beaten. Alright. Uh, Shinsekai, right there. Ginza Cho. Let us depart! No. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Wait a second. Fellow summoners. That could also mean Garin and Nagi. Meaning that we need to talk to those guys too. Unless, you know, all my answers are here. So, what do you got? Some 
Case files, blah 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 blurb. Alright. Blonde man. Yo, what's good, dog? You know, there's no right and wrong in one action just to shape the future. Whatever future those sacrifices may spark, neither is there any right or wrong in them. How true. What? The Shukon... The Shuku Konseki. Shuku Konseki. You're pretty well informed for a youngin. Hmm. I seem to recall something about that. My noggin is not what it used to, you know. What are you talking about again? It's no use. Ah, for the love of brown. <laughs> I think I've heard of this, but none. Sorry, I cannot recall anything that may prove helpful. My apologies, most sincere. Oh, but wait! You are the lucky summoner today. I am now remembering someone talking of this Shukun. Shu. Ku Konseki before. This person was fell. It was difficult to say if he was even Uman. But he was definitely on summer. Trace bien in Furuma. And he is visiting the capital right now. However, as for exactly he is in the capital as what what oh as for where exactly he is in the capital, is that I don't you know. Sorry. Okay. Um, hello, we. Well, I'd prefer some ceremony. I'm just happy having blah blah blah. Goto, I go to. Meow, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. Shoot second. Look, 14th. Don't worry your pretty little head with that stuff. Speaking of worrying, that Tai Dam, who's always in here, was being harassed by some kind of defrocked priest in Ginza Cho. Though she's got her own, got her act together a lot better than my dame here, so she should be fine. All right, this for this um, priest that they're talking about is referring to the first game. There was a summoner in the first game from like I I don't know, but the priest here that we're about to meet is one of the summoners from the first game. No, he isn't Koji Kuzunoa. That. Dude. Wait, where am I going? There we go. That's where I need to go. He's not, um, Koji. So, he, he's cause someone completely different. Which all I have to say to that. So, you said Ginza Cho. I can stop trains. I am Superman. I think I did this last session too, didn't I? I was like, I am Superman. Now, we need to go find this defrocked priest over here uh no maybe we can ask 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 some people no no i really don't care about your crap i need to know where this priest man is so i may then but fuck him to get information could it have been like outside of ginza chill no it couldn't have been outside of ginza be in here somewhere. It'd be somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. Right there. Right near the corner. There's the priest, dude. Oh, at last, Miss Kicho, our destiny's intertwined. <laughs> Ty, she's just unamused. I was taking a stroll through Ginza and happened to bump into you. What fortune! After coming from Mother Russia, oh, he's he came from Russia to the capital. I fall in love at first sight with you. We dark summoners are wealthy, yeah? I mean, da? Won't the great Rasputin make a worthy match for such a lady? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Rasputin, he's some dude who um, his like 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 a gang of people try to kill Rasputin like three different times but every time Rasputin lived he drank poison I think they like they didn't bury him alive but they like made him lose a lot of blood I think and another way I'm not quite sure but he survived like all of those yeah dark summoners I don't really know what dark summoners are I came snooping around the murder here in Ginza Cho because I smelled a big scoop but all I get for my trouble is this pervy foreigner. What fortune, indeed. Okay, well, uh, hey guys, what's good? Ty is muttering to herself. 
I came to Ginza Cho to investigate the murder because I smelled a whopper of scoop here. Just my luck that I'd bump into this perv of a Rus Ruski before I could make any headway. Yo, man, what's good? Hmm, yes, is there something you need from me, Ryder Kuzunoa? Ah, but of course, you have heard of my infamous fall, I mean, legends in Mother Russia. Follies. <laughs> ah, and so you seek the help of this famous Rasputin, da? Oh, that's his name. Damn, man. Yes, I request your help. Oh, ho, ho. Are you saying a summoner of your caliber needs the help of a dark summoner? This must be serious. What's the matter? I see. Wow. I said that before even. <laughs> so predictable. That Apollyon, you say you need this Shuku Khan Seki to defeat it. And you'd like to know where it is. Oh ho ho, right, oh today you must count yourself lucky to know me. You see, I know where the Shuku Khan Seki is. A dark summoner has impe impeccable hearing. I could tell you, but I'm thinking you can do something for me in return. Nothing good is free. Do you see her? The effervescent Miss Kichiko? I'd like to know her better. And, as you've seen, she's colder to me than a suburban winter. Not one word passes her lips to my ears. But you, Raido, you are quite the experienced negotiator, da? You will make Miss Kichiko speak to me in that warm voice of hers. If you can do this for me, then I'd be willing to divulge the location of the Shukukan Seki. Alright, Ty, you owe me for this. I got you pictures of the fucking fairyland, alright? I went all the way back to the Fukuroku Inn. That's that's why I went back. Just to get you a fucking beat. You owe me this, alright? Go, start using that sexy voice. Come on, feel him up and stuff so he can tell me, all, tell me this information. Oh, hi, Raido. Funny meeting you here. We don't see each other in Ginzo, Chu, in Ginzo Cho too often, so spill it, Raido. What were you talking to that pervy beardo? <laughs> pervy beardo or weirdo? I didn't quite catch what she said. <laughs> Raido explained the circumstances of the investigation to Tai. You know what that implies? That he started all the way from the beginning and told her all this shit. Must be real. Rido must have like such a good memory to be able to recite all this shit. I mean, I barely even remember what the beginning of this game was about. I'll level with you, Rido. I want to say no, but you and Narumi are always getting me out of jams. Yeah, damn straight, and I got you a picture of the fairyland, bitch. So you better do what I say. Okay, no need to twist my arm. I'll do it for you. Stand back and let Kichiko Asakura work. Oh, Miss Kichiko, right, I was convinced you, da? His negotiation skills, negotiation skills extend to the human world, I see. Um, I'm at a loss here. I used to, I'm used to interviewing people, but this is a far cry from journalism. I don't know where to start. All I have to do is sweet talk this lech, right? Say what he wants to hear? Why don't I let you, I, why don't I let you lead here? Feed me some lines and I'll spit them back at him. But I'll tell you straight, there's some things I flat out won't say to the Ruski. Got it? Miss Kicho, I can't stand the weight! Well, and they even put the uh, negotiation music up too. Here goes, let's get this negotiation on the road. How should I start off, Rido? Compliment him. Act cute. Scold him. <laughs> oh. Okay. We, we can do uh, di many different um, paths here. We can... Get her to act girly, which she'll just flat out not do. Uh, either way, you know you're still you're still gonna like get thrown back and have to uh, make different options. You can compliment him. I I don't know what she does there, but let's see her act cute. <laughs> no way, Buster! I'm not putting up an act like that just for this louse. Oh, your bashfulness is so cute. Yes, please, more of this. Help me out here, I'm begging you! Compliment this, Ruski. Compliment him, huh? You're sure not making this easy for me. Your beard is wonderful. Very nice sandals, right? That's some that's something weird to you know compliment him on. My sandals are nice. You see before you a work of art and you compliment his sandals? 
We've only just started this, and I'm already practically fed up. This is